is Ambassador John Bolton. Uh, Ambassador Bolton served as U.S. National Security Advisor during the Trump administration and was the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. under George W. Bush. Um, sir, as always, thanks for being with us. A whole lot was covered in this interview, uh, but Putin's claims about ending this conflict really stuck out, right? I mean, the Russian president pushing the U.S. to make an agreement seemingly to cede already taken Ukrainian territory to Russia to end the war. What did you make of these comments, Ambassador? Well, I, I definitely thought this was uh, Putin making an initiative to see if he could get negotiations started. I, frankly, I'm surprised he hasn't done it long before, given the pounding Russia's taken. Uh, but he obviously picked what he thought would be a favorable uh, environment in the interview. And I think he's uh, uh, it's kind of a, a, a threat to Biden in a sense that uh, you can have peace in Ukraine. You can get the Europeans to come along. We can solve this in a, in a matter of weeks so that there won't be a war in Ukraine uh, troubling the political scene for the rest of this year. Uh, but he's also playing to the Trump base and, and basically saying you're going to get an even better deal when Trump is elected. I, I think this puts a real squeeze uh, on Volodymyr Zelensky and the Ukrainians. Uh, and I, I think we'll see if the Russians follow it up. But but the evidence from that interview is Putin is saying I'm open to negotiation. But if you don't do it soon, uh, I'm conti I'll continue the war. Yeah, we also saw Putin appear to appeal directly to Americans during this sit down, claiming that the U.S. has more pressing priorities. Uh, I want to listen together in this clip from the Tucker Carlson Network. Take a listen. Don't you have anything better to do? You have issues on the border, issues with migration, issues with the national debt, more than $33 trillion. You have nothing better to do, so you should fight in Ukraine? Ambassador, what's your take on that move uh, and those comments by the Russian president? Well, I, I think that will that that's intended to, to uh, provide fodder for Trump and his campaign against Biden. Uh, these are these are many of the same things isolationists have been saying in this country. Just one word for President Putin. We're not fighting in Ukraine. We're supplying weapons. But it's Ukrainians who are fighting and it's Russians who are dying in extraordinarily high numbers. What did you think of Tucker Carlson's performance, if you will? Do you think he pushed back hard enough on the Russian president? Not particularly. Look, Tucker's a dilettante. And uh, from, from, his, from his perspective, which is very Trumpian, if he gets publicity, he's happy for it. He got a lot of publicity, and uh, that makes the interview a success. And lastly, sir, before I let you go, just your takeaways, your top-line thoughts from yesterday after that DOJ report was released, uh, you know, highlighting President Biden's mental acuity, what he did and didn't remember uh, involving the classified documents, his son's death when he was vice president. What do you think of yesterday? I think that report could be the effective end of the Biden reelection campaign uh, on the memory point, which is uh, part of the competence issue, very much on the minds of Americans. Uh, I think it's going to have an extraordinary effect. I just point out one thing. Part mm -hmm. of what the, the independent counsel relied on was a tape recording of an interview between Biden and his ghostwriter for his memoirs in 2017. And he said that tape reveals Biden was having trouble with memory issues then. So I, I think this is very serious. I don't think the Democrats can spend this away. Uh, I think Trump's going to pounce on it. And uh, uh, this is the moment for Joe Biden to step aside gracefully, in my view, so the Democrats can nominate somebody else. Just a couple seconds left. Do you think he will be the Democrat on the ticket in November of 2024? Look, it looks like it at this point. People talk about how Trump has taken over the Republican Party. How about how Biden has taken over the Democratic Party? They are literally whistling past the graveyard if they nominate him. Mm. Ambassador John Bolton, as always, we thank you for your time.